I believe that they are here tonight. A representative is here tonight. I defer to the director if there's anything more to say, but sometimes they would like to speak and we would welcome that. Um, and we are, um, I, I believe that the deadline for passage is March, so we have plenty of time and are not at this point in need of a suspension to um, expedite. Yeah, I'm correct. I asked the applicant to come in tonight just uh, as an opportunity for you guys to meet them as a full council um, with us today is Dave Conley uh, with Condado and uh, their representative, Dan Persky, in the back there. Well, you're welcome to say Thank hello. You. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, we, uh, we are really excited for this opportunity. We've been grilling really like crazy. I joined Condado in 17. We had four locations. We're up to 29 now. We have 10 leases signed this upcoming year. We're pushing hard for the, uh, uh, I had for an 11th one to get to 40 here by the end of the year. Uh, our budget calls for us to, act, to actually add eight additional GA employees uh, over the next 12 months. Most of those employees kind of get kind of get housed out of the corporate office. There's a couple of them in the field there and everything. We're on a big, uh, a, a big growth trajectory here. And so we, uh, that we're hoping to keep growing and growing as we go. So we think it's a great opportunity for us. We're excited about the potential opportunity in Grandview. I have a question. First of all, sure our, our dispatchers are big fans. I <laughs> <laughs> can smell it sometimes. <laughs> um, but but um, where's your co closest location? Uh, the closest one from Hill here uh, is either Clintonville or Short North. Okay, so there and everything. And that's, uh, that, that's kind of one of the things. Uh, we have a Clintonville lease coming up uh, next year, trying to decide what we're going to do with that. Uh, we probably can't go uh, with those two locations that close. We probably can't come to Grandview. If something happens to one or the other, we think this is a terrific area here and everything. And so we would definitely consider it if something happens to one of our other locations there. Well, you're in my mind. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So you're going to say that they're, they're obviously they're similarly moving their um, you know, head and front office um, support operations from um, around a little bit predominantly Columbus. Downtown Columbus, yes. Um, into Grandview Heights, so we're very excited to have them come and grow with us. Thank so you. Appreciate the opportunity. Yeah, are there any other questions from Councilman? No, thank you. Okay, thank you for Sorry. coming this evening. Thank you very much. Um, other business? The new liquor permit. Yes, please. Do you want me to read it? Oh, uh, I guess I can read it. New liquor permit request for a C1C liquor permit 652150 Ohio Springs, Inc. Also known as Sheets. Uh, 744 Grand Avenue, Grand Avenue, Ohio 43212. Um, clerk, has there been any concerns raised by uh, officers, or sorry, Chief Sergeant? No. There's a limited, if I may, yeah. that I believe there's a limited number of liquor permits in town, and often we're getting a transfer um, of one to another because there's a new business. That's here. <coughs> I don't you know if this is a new one. This is a new one. No, yeah, a new one. Yeah. And there's a difference with the types, too. So C1, C2 is like what I have, 
and that's just carry out only. Yeah. So there's a lot more of those available than the on-premises ones because you're not worried as much about having like drunk rowdy people running around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the entertainment district is so that we can get more of the on-premises ones. It's not quite as much of an issue for when people are looking for these carry out ones. There's still rules somewhere in Someone around here knows it, but not me, about how many you can have and you know per square mile or whatever, but um, it's not quite as right. and restrictive. I'm familiar with that sheet. Is this for a carry out of the liquor yeah. or this is only? It's and then so you, they're not because I know you can eat there too, but they're not serving. Right, so that's just like it's for the gas station part. So C1, okay. C2 is carry out, carry out only beer wine okay. and certain canned cocktails. So okay. like I'm allowed to sell beer, I'm allowed to sell wine in its closed original container okay. for off-premise consumption only. Uh, okay. And you can sell those canned cocktails too because whatever the weird liquor, liquor law is, it counts as beer. Okay. <laughs> and then how many of those permits, but are there a limited number of those permits? C1, there C2. are, but I don't know what those requirements yeah. are. I don't do any liquor work. And what's the other category? There are oh, there's, there's a dozen. Yeah. 